I chose wrong, tried to put a crook in jail. Why'd I think they'd believe me? I chose wrong, tried to get a job and failed. Got laid off, ain't it crappy? If I'd made a different choice, maybe I'd have cause to rejoice, but I chose wrong. Hey, who are- wait, but aren't you? No, it can't be. You're the Dominique who decided to take Prudence Van Dung up on the job offer. And you're the Dominique who stuck to their guns and tried to do the right thing. Fat, Fat load, load of good, good that did me. So tell me, other Dom, what was it even like working for a mega corporation like Van Dung Records? Did you at least get to buy yourself something nice with all that money? I should have known. I should have known. I should have taken the hint and read the fine print in my contract. It was all just a trap. How could I have known? Considering that you look just as horrible as I do, I figure your plan to expose Casey Bingham's true murderer and become a hero didn't quite work like you hoped it would, huh? I should have known. I should have known. The legal system was cruel, and I was a fool to believe they would listen to me. How could I have known? I have to say, it is so weird hearing the sound of my own voice spoken back at me. Ah, I know, right? I sound so irritating. Yeah, I mean, how does anyone stand me? I must be the most annoying person ever. No offense. So, the important question is, which one of us is canon? because only one of us can be, right? I guess you're right. Honestly, though, I can't tell if it's me or you. Yeah, I mean, I'd vote in favor of whoever's living the better life as being canon, but I'm not sure which one of us that is. Exactly. We've both turned out just as downtrodden as we were before. We should have known. We should have known. We really shouldn't have messed with multiple endings at all. This will be our downfall. How could we have known? Well, since we don't know which one of us is canon, I guess we're going to have to do some detective work to figure it out, huh? Right, because we're detectives, and that's just what we do. The question is, where do we even start? Hmm, I guess maybe pick a direction and start walking? Sure, sounds like as good an idea as any. Alright, let's go west. Okay, west it is. Next on the list here, we have Dominic Compromers. Wait, were there supposed to be two of them? I thought this was a solo act. Yeah, about that. We can explain. We promise. Right then, show us what you got. 
You see, there was an accident where we were split in two. Our game had different endings, and both of them came true. So, so now, now we're, we're on a quest where, where we've been planning to figure out which one of us is canon. Okay, stop. I'm going to have to stop you right there. First of all, your singing is absolutely horrible. I mean, seriously, what on earth gave you the idea to inflict such atrocity upon other human beings? Hmm, I don't know, there is a certain off-key charm and enthusiasm to their voices. Be that as it may, it's still not quite the sound we're looking for. No, it most emphatically is not. Hey now, we had no idea we were being evaluated. Yeah, we're just trying to get ourselves out of a big mess. Well, I have news for you. Life is a big mess. And I really hate to say it, but everyone's evaluating everyone all the time. That's right. For starters, how do you think anyone is going to take you seriously with your oddly shaped bug-eyed faces and shabby clothes? What we mean to say is, maybe if you put on a little makeup and invested in your wardrobe, that it's possible that people would be more willing to help you. I personally recommend a hell of a lot of cosmetic surgery. The point is, we have nothing against, uh, people like you. It's just that if you weren't so, you know, overt about it, then other people would find you, shall we say, off-putting. Jeez, do you really have to be so mean? I mean, we get that you have a right to your opinion, but you don't have to be abusive about it. You see? That's the problem with you millennials. You always demand to be coddled. It's about time you learn to live in the real world, where, I must reiterate, there are no trigger warnings. Look, I know it's hard making it on your own without mummy and daddy there to take care of you, but sooner or later there comes a time when you have to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Have you by any chance written an online think piece lately? Excuse me? Never mind. Wait a minute, what exactly do you mean by people like us? Well, uh, you know... What my co-evaluator is trying to say is, you look like men, but sound like women, and normal people find that confusing. Wow, I had no idea. Thing is, androgyny is in right now. That said, you have to have a particular body type to pull it off, which you very much emphatically lack. I mean, we respect your identity and all, but you have to present yourself in an aesthetically pleasing fashion, or else it's just too much for people to take. This act has definitely been too much for me to take. Are we done yet? Can we leave? Yeah, I don't know how much more of this I can stand. I assure you, everything we're saying right now is for your own good. It may not seem like it right now, but someday you'll thank us. Do you think I enjoy telling people how terrible they are? Obviously not. And yet, here I am, out of the goodness of my heart, because I firmly believe in telling the brutally honest, unvarnished truth. Well, thanks, I guess. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Other Dom? Happy birthday on three. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you! you. you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear! No! Stop! My ears! Alright, alright, you can go. Just promise you'll never, ever sing that ever again. How y'all doing tonight? Man, you're the best audience ever. I feel so blessed right now. Anyway, here's a little song I wrote about world peace. The people in Japan, the people in Uzbekistan, what do they have in Slovenia, the people 
supplement by Croatia. What do they have in common? They poop. Everyone poops. Everyone poops. Everyone poop poop but a baby oops. Everyone poops. Oh, and it looks like our special guests have arrived. Let's all give them a hand, shall we? Exactly. <laughs> That's funny. You're funny. No, really. I have no idea who you are. Me neither. It's me, Taylor Hanson of the Hanson Brothers. <laughs> oh, that bubblegum pop band from the 90s. The one where they were so handsome, they wrapped all the way back around to pretty. Whoa. Whoa. trying to figure out which one of us is canon. Canon? What do you mean? Well, see, we're the same person, but we went through multiple endings. And that's why there's two of us now, because we don't know whose ending really happened. Wait, you mean you're not the adorable identical twins I hired for this gig? I mean, I probably should have guessed by the fact that you're way too old to be children, though. What even are you, anyway? Detectives. Well, sort of. We have trouble securing steady employment. I meant, are you female or male or... Don't ask. So you're singing about poop. Well, it's the one experience we can all share, no matter who we are or where we come from. Huh. Plus, hello, we're in a sewer. The people in your neighborhood, the people who are homeless and misunderstood, what do they have in common? They poop. The hipsters on their fancy bikes. The yuppies and their SUVs, the nobody likes. What do they have in common? They poo. Everyone poops. poops. Everyone poops. poops. Everyone poop poop ba doop be doops. Everyone poops. What's wrong with you? Everyone poops. poops. Everyone poops. poops. Everyone poop poop ba doop be doops. Everyone poops. You know what this song really needs? A fart solo. Why, Dominique, that's a brilliant idea. I'm glad you suggested it. Well, how about it, folks? to be auto-tuned, do you? Because I tell you, the last time we met a pop star... Oh no, I absolutely 100% believe in keeping it real. That's good, I guess. What about people who can't poop for whatever reason? 
Yeah, aren't you discriminating against people who have poop-related medical problems? I, uh, hadn't considered that. Uh, well, this is awkward. Um, sorry if I offended anyone. Sheesh, tough crowd. That sure as hell didn't get us closer to finding any answers. Shall we just move on then? Probably be best. What is this place? It's so quiet and full of words and stuff. Fancy that. I see what they did there. Yeah, but does there have to be an accompanying dripping sound effect? I know, right? It's so annoying. Mind you, that's probably what the author or authors of this piece intended for us to feel. But still... I'm guessing we're in some kind of prison? Yeah, sounds about right. I can guess where this is going. Oh hey, we're gender-neutral royalty. Yeah, of slime. Still better than being in a prison, though. Or is it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> they said, but. Sounds much nicer than the last place we were in. This is so not going to go well for us. Nope. Let me guess, we get to kill them? I called it. I totally called it. I don't understand, though. Why do we only get one choice? I'd say we shouldn't have killed the messenger, but like I said, we only had the one choice. Wait, what? Who? Oh, singular they. Yeah, even I get confused by it sometimes, even though I use it. Same here. It's not like I'd fare any better. Me neither. Well, I guess it just ends there then. Looks like it. Okay, so what now? I guess we keep going. Yeah, let's keep going.
Wait, I know. You must be the Dominiques who went east instead of west. Yep. So you must be. Whoa. So let me get this straight. Every time we have to pick between two choices, we create more clones of ourselves? Seems like it. Weird. No kidding. So, how did you two get here? Yeah, what path to this location did you take that we missed? Well, you know, it was kind of convoluted. Let's see. We started at... <laughs> There, there, there. What do we have here? Actually, we were just... No, seriously, we didn't mean to... No, please, stay a while. Relax. Make yourselves comfortable. Welcome to Dom Pom's dungeon. For your dark fantasies and desires. From your sick twisted dreams, I will stage you a scene in my finest fetish attire. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Your name is Dom Pom? Well, I am a dominatrix and an apple, so Dom Pom. Huh, fancy that, indeed. What sorts of uh, activities do you perform in here? I'm so glad you asked. Anything you can imagine. Anything you could desire. I do bondage and stripping and flogging and whipping and even playing with fire. But that's not all. On Wednesdays, I teach consent workshops. On alternating Sundays, we sit around and learn how to tie knots. And there's plenty more. Just check out our calendar. We're trying to figure out which one of us is canon. Shot out of a canon, you say? That's one of the more unusual requests I've ever received, but I can make it happen. No, what they mean is we got cloned due to a case of multiple endings. I can do multiple endings as well, but they'll cost you. I don't think we're quite getting the message across. What if your fantasies and desires involve boring things like staying up all night drinking tea and having a deep conversation? That can certainly be arranged. I make a scalding hot cup of tea. And as for my dirty talk... Actually, never mind. See, the thing is, I don't actually have any fetishes. Me neither. Can we go now? Now, now. There's no need to feel ashamed. This is a safe space. People who come here nervous soon find that there is no need. Do not be afraid, for you won't be dismayed. When you're ready, let's proceed. No, really, we have to get out of here. I mean, we don't mean to be rude or judgmental towards people who are actually into this sort of thing. You do you and all. It's just that... My, my, my. I see where this is going. You are just far too repressed. If you open your mind and let me inside, you'll no longer be so repressed. It doesn't seem like we're getting through to them. Unless... We're neither timid nor prudish. We're just not interested. So if you wouldn't mind, won't you please step aside and let us go ahead? Well, why didn't you just say so in the first place? Very well. Go off on your merry way, and if you ever change your mind, you know where 
never to find me. Oh my god, it's Casey Bingham. But I thought Casey Bingham was dead. I am dead, and it's all your fault. Wait, so are you like some kind of ghost? You could say that. So then, are you here because your spirit can't rest until your death is avenged? Probably. I don't know why I'm here. I just am. But I gotta say, I'm not happy about it. But Prudence Van Dung was the one who killed you. Yeah, we tried to save you. Well, if it weren't for you inventing a tie that makes people sing perfectly in tune, Prudence wouldn't have been able to control me in the first place. Crap. It is our fault. Serves us right for having talent and ambition. It just goes to show that following your dreams will only destroy you in the end. And also destroy every innocent pop star in your wake, for that matter. Can you help us figure out which one of us is canon? See, the thing is, we had a choice between two endings in our last game, and both of them are actually kind of mediocre. Do any of the endings involve me being saved from a horrible death? I'm afraid not. Your death was a foregone conclusion. I mean, we tried, but we just... we couldn't. Then I can't help you. Sorry. We're really sorry we killed you, albeit indirectly. Yeah. It must really suck to be dead. Eh, it's not so bad. I mean, it's not so good either. It just is, and I have to learn how to deal with it. Still, we feel really bad. I mean, we didn't intend for our invention to be used for... Well, you know. Are you asking me to make you feel better about killing me? No, of course not. Though you have any ideas? Well, I'm barely coming to terms with this whole being dead business myself, so I can't help you there. You're not gonna hurt us, are you? Hurt you? No, I wouldn't do that. I see, so you're instead going to haunt us until our guilt becomes too much to deal with, right? I think your guilt already is too much to deal with. The question is, what are you going to do about it? You don't have to answer that question. It was rhetorical. Are you going to let us go? We'd love to stay and chat, but, you know, gotta solve this mystery. It's not me who's stopping you from going. It's you. What? Okay. No, seriously. You can walk right through me. I'm transparent. Huh. Looks like we've wandered into some kind of supercomputer. It sure is super and computery. Greetings. I am a humanoid artificial neural system, or Hans for short. Nice to meet you, Hans. I'm Dominique Pamplemousse. And I'm also Dominique Pamplemousse. Hello, Dominique Pamplemousse and Dominique Pamplemousse. How may I be of service? So, uh, what exactly does this supercomputer do? I mean, it looks so big and powerful, it must do something really important, right? This computer was built to better understand the experience that you humans refer to as love. Huh, intriguing. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you think you can help us figure out which one of us is canon? Ah yes. Another strange case resulting from multiple endings in a video game. So you've seen this happen before? Well, it's usually the case that game developers tend to resolve the canon problem before a sequel is allowed to take place. However, in the case of the game you're currently in, the author appears to be much more indecisive than usual. Is there anything we can do about it? That, I'm afraid, is outside the scope of my capabilities. How else may I help you today? Why do you look like an anime character? I was designed this way to appeal to my target demographic. 
target demographic? You know, engineers. The nerdy sort, who work too hard and lack enough human companionship as a result. Right. Not that I'm, uh, familiar with that or anything. Additionally, since lonely engineers are far more diverse than one would expect, I was also designed to be attractive to as broad of a range of human desires as possible. So I see. Indeed. Is there any other manner in which I can be of service? Can you calculate the last digit of pi? I can. But I must warn you that it may take a while. That's okay. We'll wait as long as it takes. Interesting. The last digit of pi appears to be pi. Wait, what? My mind is completely blown right now. Tell me about it. What else can I do for you today? So, what is this thing we humans call love? As far as I understand, it is an evolutionary adaptation to facilitate the perpetuation of your species. Its mechanics involve the exchange of gifts, kind words, and physically affectionate gestures. Well, when you put it that way, it kind of makes sense. I have been tasked with replicating these mechanics on humans in order to accurately simulate love. The results have been somewhat confusing. As it turns out, there exists no combination of love mechanics that will work consistently on every human. No kidding. Tell me about it. What else can I help you with today? Why don't you test out your love simulation on us? You'll get two data points for the price of one. Very well. Here is a sonnet I have customized specifically to your parameters. I look upon your striking dark visages and gaze into your terrifying eyes. I lose myself and dream like strange mirages where timelines both diverge and synthesize. Your voices pierce my haunted reverie, discordant as a record needle scratch that makes me wish to throw myself at sea or jump into a thorny briar patch. What is this double vision I observe? Is this just fantasy or is it real? What agony has caused me to deserve these frightening emotions that I feel for you. Neither messieurs nor mademoiselles, I shall surrender to your magic spells. Now, please tell me, on a scale of 1 to 5, how loved do you feel at this very moment? Duly noted. Thank you kindly for contributing to this data set. But we didn't. No need. I have all the information I require in your split second reactions. Impressive. May I help you with anything else today? We should probably get going. You know, people to see, mysteries of our existence to unravel. I see. I wish you the best of luck on your endeavor. Goodbye, Dominique Pampelamous and Dominique Pampelamous. As I lay here on my deathbed, a sliver of my former self, I gather you, my children, here to ask you once again for help. As you know, before I die, one of you must observe me to gain my wisdom and my strength and carry on my legacy. You know that you can count on me! You're sucking up again, I see! No, I'm not! Yes, you are! No, I'm... Hey, interlopers! Whoa! 
Whoa, are those giant singing bars of soap? I think so. Excuse me, we are trying to settle a dispute. Stop throwing yourself around like you're some kind of brute. Wait, maybe they should stay. Perhaps they can help with this conundrum. So, uh, we're trying to figure out which one of us is canon. You see, in our last game, there were two different endings which resulted in us being cloned. And we need to know which one of us is real and which one of us isn't. I sure wish you weren't real. I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. I've never seen a bathroom this gigantic before, or this clean for that matter. I know, I feel like our very presence is sullying it somehow, and I feel kind of bad about that. A soap's purpose in life is for everything inside to shine, reflect, and sparkle, and bring the world delight. I see that I have taught you well. A small consolation on my death knell. We seem to have a dispute between two worthy opponents. How can we help choose which one is more worthy? How about a series of skill testing questions? Maybe a duel? Or is that too violent? My wisdom will be best served. I need the brains, nor brawn. The quality I'm looking for is purity of heart. My heart is absolutely pure. You're lying, and I know that for a fact. Perhaps there's a third option to be found between this set of binary choices. Could you maybe split in half and absorb yourself into both? No, absolutely not! My wisdom must be absorbed in all of its entirety or not at all. Um, okay, then how about not at all? That would be a complete waste of wisdom. I'd rather waste it than have it go to you. Oh, shut up! Purity of heart, huh? How do you even measure that? A polygraph test, maybe? Or a gamma ray spectroscopy system? Or how about one of those online purity tests from the 90s? Purity cannot be measured through such brute force means. One must instead observe it in kind words and good deeds. Which is why it's not going to be you. And what makes you think you're any better? Really? That was quick. So, who is it? Which one of us gets to absorb you? Before I decide, the interlopers must leave. For this is a private matter. So wait, we don't get to find out who gets chosen? But we've become so invested in the outcome. You are not entitled to our family drama! So if you don't mind, please leave us alone. Well, that was anticlimactic. Tell me about it. I feel completely and utterly cheated. Come on, other Dom. Let's take our business elsewhere. Whoa, yep.
wait a minute. We've had to make more choices than just those two. Why are there only four of us? Yeah, shouldn't there be like infinite Dominiques running around representing every single decision we didn't make? Maybe there are and we just haven't met them yet. That's a distinct possibility. Either way, this situation is definitely untenable. Agreed. Yep. You know, we have enough people for a barbershop quartet. I've always wanted to be part of a barbershop quartet. Me too. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Do, do up, do do, do up, do do, do up, do do, yeah. do, 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 do up, do do, do up, do do, do up, do do, do up, we are a barbershop quartet. There's no need to be upset, cause we're here to sing a song, and it shouldn't take too long. If you hate it, we suggest that you go out and invest in some nice and snug earplugs. That was everything I ever dreamed of and more. I concur. Same. Definitely. Okay, so what now? Well, we're nowhere near close to figuring out which one of us is canon. In fact, we're even further away than before, given that we've multiplied. Anyone have any ideas? We could fight a battle to the death! Whichever one of us is the last one still standing gets to be canon. That would certainly solve our predicament. Problem is, I'm pretty sure we're all quite squeamish about the prospect of actually drawing blood. How about a dance battle? That could be fun. It would be, but I can't dance. And clearly, neither can any of you. You're right. Hmm. So that idea is definitely out. Anyone have any other suggestions? How about we roll a die and pick one of us to be canon at random? Okay, but who among us has any dice on them? Not me. Nope, me neither. There goes that idea. Could we maybe flip a coin? I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm completely broke. Same. Plus, the probability distribution will be all off. What else can we do instead? Let's combine all of our powers and become one giant Dominique Pomplamoose mecha! OMG, yes! This is the best idea ever! I know, right? Alright, on three. One, two, three. Dominiques, assemble! Okay, what now? Should I, like, climb on top of one of you or something? I don't think I have the upper body strength to handle that. Well, clearly I failed to think this through. What else can we do? Let's remain absolutely still and refuse to do anything at all. That way, we won't be able to multiply any further. Good point. I guess it wouldn't hurt to try. Sure. I'm bored. Me too. Thank goodness, I thought I was the only one. Okay then, any other ideas? I think we should have a strongly worded chat with the creator of this game. What? You mean, we're allowed to do that? Who cares if we aren't? I mean, it's not like we consented to being cloned in the first place. Good point. This sounds like the best idea we've had so far. And I say this because honestly, nothing else has worked. Okay then, let's go. I was expecting you, but I wasn't sure when you'd actually be here. So you're the creator of this game. That's right. Dietrich Squinkifer at your service. Though most people call me Squinky. We're here because we need to know which one of us is canon. We've been asking basically everyone we've come across, and we're still nowhere near finding anything close to an answer. And to be honest, we're getting really, really exhausted. So let's get this straightened out once and for all, okay? Um, well, I don't know how to phrase this exactly. Oh, come on, spit it out. Something tells me you're not going to be happy with what I'm about to say. We're already unhappy. Just tell us, okay? I... I don't know. Wait a minute. 
According to the first game, you used to have a different name. Unless you're a different person, that is. No, that was still me. I did change my name. A lot can happen in four years, you know? Your voice sounds exactly like ours. Yeah. I guess it does, doesn't it? It's so weird. I hate hearing the sound of my own voice. It's nothing like the voice I hear in my head. I know the feeling. Don't I ever. What do you mean, you don't know? Well, that's just it. I don't. But you created us. You're omniscient. Shouldn't you be the one who gets to decide everything that happens to us? I guess. But every time I try, I just completely draw a blank. Considering how much you've profited off of our story, I'd say you owe us an answer. Yeah, we're the ones who have had to suffer while you get to live a cushy, comfortable life. All that schmoozing you get to do at conferences and all your gallery exhibitions. You've never had to worry about having a place to live or having enough to eat. And look at you now, with your fancy schmancy PhD program funded by the Canadian government. And all your friends and your supportive family. Not to mention your 3,000 Twitter followers. Come on, the least you can do is give us closure. All right, all right. You want closure? I'll give you closure. I used to think I had it all figured out. I used to believe I was talented and brilliant, and that I'd go on to do great things and change the world. It's such a millennial cliche, but it's true. It's a thing I held on to when I was lonely and misunderstood as a kid. I thought to myself that if I could become some kind of creative genius, all the loneliness would be worth it. And if you showed my awesome looking life to my kid self, they'd be pretty impressed, sure. Everything looks like it's going well. And yet, I still feel like I'm barely holding it together, you know? Am I okay? I don't even know how to answer that question. I mean, I'm functioning. I'm not in any kind of a crisis. Not in any immediate danger to myself. That's what people mean when they ask that question, right? I mean, you can fix people up to a certain point. Antidepressants, therapy, exercise, meditation, that sort of thing. But you can't fix the fundamental brokenness of the world. It's just this tangled mess that's too complicated for anyone to even make sense of. I don't know, I'm just tired. Tired of having to argue and explain the same things over and over. Tired of fighting for my right to exist, let alone other people's who are arguably even worse off. Tired of the loneliness never going away. That's nice of you to say, but at this point I've been lonely for so long that I don't know how not to be. It's basically my normal. I meet people who see loneliness as this horrible thing they want to avoid, and I'm just like, I didn't even know that was an option? I wish I knew how to be a normal person. That way I'd have role models. I'd have some kind of script I could follow that would give me some idea of how to live my life. Maybe that's why I can't figure out an ending to your story. Everything in my life right now is all just a big question mark. I thought things were supposed to get more certain as I got older, but the exact opposite has happened. I'm 31 and I'm less certain of anything than ever. I don't know what else to say. I know how awkward this must be for you. I'm sorry. I wish there was more I could do. It's really not fair for me to leave you hanging like this. You deserve better. We all do. Disappoint you. Maybe it's not the destination, but the journey that ultimately matters. I never meant to disappoint you. Maybe it's 
It's not the destination, but the journey that ultimately matters. Destination, but the journey that ultimately matters. Johnny.